the average writer makes $69,510 a year. Last year, I made $800,000 writing for two hours a day and just a few days a week. And of course, I did work more than this, but I'm talking about writing, right? Like the base of my business. Everything I do revolves around writing, and I do that for around two hours every single day. So here are nine steps to becoming a profitable writer, even if you have $0 in your bank account. First, why writing? Because the future belongs to those that master the internet. They master media or code. And with an abundance of no code website builders and just other like organizational tools like Notion and other things, and even just social media in general, allows you to not have to learn how to code, right? Leave that to the passionate coders out in the world. If you are a passionate coder, you're doing great things. Thank you. Artificial intelligence is also coming into play. So it's, it's best for most people to master media, right? Which is the front end of the internet, what people see, what catches attention, what leads into products or services. That's what drives sales. That's what puts money in your pockets is media. And the foundation of media is writing, right? Because writing then gets turned into a video script or like a real script or something that you see online, right? Writing out any form of script or video first it comes first, right? It makes the video better. So writing is foundational because you think about it, that that's all you see, right? You see writing transformed into other things. You see tweets, that's writing. You see Instagram posts, that's writing. You see reels, it's a written script. You see a newsletter, that's writing. You see a YouTube video, it's also a written script. So I'll shut up about writing its importance. It's very important. The best skill you can learn. Here's the nine steps. First is to choose a topic that you can't shut up about. Write down your favorite books, your YouTube watch history, your favorite social media accounts, and what you would write about if money wasn't an issue. Good writing is about energy transfer, not being professional. We aren't English degrees here, right? Everyone can write, everyone can write with impact. You don't need to be super gram grammatically correct. The second step is to brainstorm a unique perspective. Novelty catches attention and attention is necessary for people to read what you write, right? A lot of people always talk about like, oh, catching attention is dirty. Uh, you're just contributing. You're doing the same thing as all the other people uh, with the cheap dopamine and catching attention. You have to catch attention, right? That's what you're doing at any given second of the day. When you put on cologne to go out, you're, you're wanting to attract a person. When you slick your hair in the morning, you're not doing it for yourself. If you were only if you're the only person on this earth, you wouldn't be going through all of these grooming habits. You're trying to catch attention on a daily day to day basis. You might as well make that conscious and do something good with it. And so novel perspectives are how you differentiate yourself through experience with the things that you write about. Right. So when it comes to novelty, catching attention, I love this quote, right? I say this all the time where people need to be reminded more than they need something new. But I've changed that. Now I see it as people need to be reminded with something new right? They need to be reminded of the fundamentals, the base lessons that are going to actually bring progress to their life, but from a new perspective. And the best way to do that is through your personal experience, right? So tell a story about the things that you're learning, and then you can never run out of angles to say things. Talk about your own story, your own perspective, your own thoughts, other people's stories, stories that you curate and find online, things like that. So step number three is to write 1000 words on the topic. Every piece of content is based around a personal or professional problem. So how do you structure it? You paint a picture of the problem. This is to start off writing your 1000 words. You talk about your personal experience and you give step by step advice on how to solve the problem. Actionable advice is how you build an audience at the start to prove your worth and value. And so step number four is to sign up for a blog or newsletter software. I rarely use fancy sales funnels anymore, and that's when my income took off, right? Direct response marketing is important. It's good to learn. It's good to understand the fundamentals. It's it's good to understand how you facilitate the transfer of money and persuade people to see the value in your services. But at the same time, it gets a bit too crazy. And so when I stripped down everything, made it super simple, my revenue shot up to 800 K last year and potentially projecting 2.5 million this year. And so instead I use a content ecosystem. So I write one newsletter a week. That's why we're writing 1000 words right now. You upload the newsletter as a blog and then you write one thread condensed from the newsletter and you write three tweets a day from ideas in the newsletter. And then those get turned into YouTube video scripts, LinkedIn posts, Instagram carousels, reels, TikToks, and a podcast. Okay, right. So we're picking, we have a topic that we can't shut up about. We write 1000 words just to practice, just to get it out of the way. We use a basic structure 
problem, personal experience, actionable steps to overcome the problem. That's how you write the 1000 words. You post that to a newsletter, you upload it to a blog, you turn that into a thread or a medium form like Instagram carousel. You turn those into three tweets a day. You cross post the tweets, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere. And then under those things, you link your blog post. Now, why is that important? Because in the newsletter or in the blog post, that's the best place to promote your products or services, right? It's the most trustworthy and authoritative place to promote them rather than writing like a one-liner tweet. Oh, go live your best life. And then under it, it's like, oh, buy my course on how to live your best life. Like you're not going to make too many sales doing that. You might as well write a longer piece, a newsletter, upload it to a blog, have a good call to action to your product or service, link the blog under your tweets, related tweets on a weekly basis. And then that's how you make more sales. That's how my revenue shot up. So. Step number five is to repurpose the actionable part of the newsletter because actionable and in-depth advice is the most potent and beginner friendly way to start growing on social media. That's how you build authority at the start. Don't try to be too clever when nobody knows who you are. Your favorite YouTubers didn't start as lifestyle vloggers. They gave actionable advice in an eternal market, health, wealth, relationships. You go and look at anyone's YouTube channel. They usually started by establishing authority in one domain or a few domains like self-improvement because that involves like lifting weights, getting dates, more plates, more dates, and other things like that, right? You get the point. So step number six is to learn how to network and grow on the platform itself. So I previously made a video, it's called the non-needy networking process. Again, one of those videos that doesn't get enough views because it's, I don't know why, it's one of the most like actionable and beneficial things you can do. It will get you the most progress because you're not going to win a game, the social media game, if you don't understand the rules and mechanics, right? You can, I, I see this way too often, especially in Modern Mastery where people come in, they say like, hey, I've been writing content and I'm not getting any followers. And it's like, that's not how it works. If everyone, if you just wrote content and got followers, then everyone would be a content creator. You have to understand the game of social media. You have to understand how to get eyes on your content. And that is done manually at the start. You do not rely on the algorithm. You network with people and get them to share your content. So in general, you need both good content and eyes on that content. You need readers sharing your writing because hopefully it's good writing. You need to network with similar follower accounts and grow together. You need to comment on larger accounts so people can see your comment and click to your profile. And you make your newsletter so good that people can't help but talk about it. And you join a community and meet people doing the same thing as you like Modern Mastery. And of course, you still need good content and a compelling brand to make this work, right? It's not one or the other. It's not, oh, I only write good content and just hope I grow in social media, not gonna work. Or I'm just gonna network all day and get people to share my content and hope that I grow in social media, but the content is shit and I'm not putting effort in there, not gonna work. If there's a hole or a problem in your brand, fix it. Step number seven is to turn ideas into impactful tweets from your newsletters. So the 1000 words you wrote earlier that you're going to do on a weekly basis, maybe something like that. You have a plethora of ideas that you can pull from that. You can read one sentence and be like, okay, how do I turn this into a tweet? If you want to learn how to write better tweets, watch my how to generate infinite ideas or unlimited content ideas video. And my best advice with this is to just create lists, create like two to three lists. And what I mean by lists is like, if you wrote about bodybuilding, then write five reasons to become a bodybuilder, something like that. List off the five reasons. And then you turn each of those five reasons into their own tweet or list and you just keep going. And then that's how you create, start to create like infinite content ideas, but you're only going to be doing it once a week because you're going to be rotating topics based on your newsletter. Now, step number eight is to develop a writing system. So take out a notebook, study writing and social media frameworks. So like PAS, which is problem, amplify solution, ADA, attention, interest, desire, action, pastor, problem, amplify, story, testimony, offer, resolution, and then social media frameworks, like how to grow. And so like the one we talked about where it's like DM people to network with them, grow, comment on larger accounts, just take a basic social media course and you're fine. And write down a process you can test to write newsletters, tweets, etc. Test it daily and refine it when you hit a roadblock, right? What you're doing here is you're just creating systems. You're creating step-by-step -step things that you are going to do on a daily basis to do things better, right? So if you learn, okay, I need to write my newsletter with this framework, then write down the steps to do that and then use the steps that you gave yourself. And then when something comes up, when a problem comes up, 
then you actually have something you can change and test. And so if that doesn't work for you, then you go and look up, okay, how do I get better ideas? You find a technique, you implement it, you change the steps a bit, and then eventually you develop a system that becomes so profitable that you can sell. Not so profitable that you can sell, but so impactful and gets you so much results that you can sell it if you want to, or you can just milk it and get a ton of results. That's what every single person does. That's how you get results with anything. If you want to grow on social media, create steps, refine them over time, boom, you win. And this is also how you decrease your mental energy expenditure on the actual system is by refining it over time. So what used to take me four hours of writing now takes me one to two hours just because it's second nature to me and I have my own system. And so the last step, number nine, is to branch out to different platforms. I've repurposed my writing from Twitter and my newsletter, and I've grown to 300,000 on Twitter, 1.5 million on Instagram, 275 on YouTube, which is newsletter as the script for the videos. And then I create the reels by writing a script for them. And that's what helps me grow on like TikTok and other things. But overall, I get more engagement than most people, like most fitness models or writing, right, is the most impactful thing. That's what everyone can read. Everyone can take a lesson from the screen and engage with it and share it with other people. Once you start doing this and once you start stacking your own content, then you start to see which of your ideas do the best. And you can start on one platform like Twitter and then once you have like 10 ideas that do well, then you can take those to other platforms and use them to grow faster, right? That's what I did. And so the last thing, as always, this takes a lot of time, right? This has been like a three to five year thing for me being a creator where like when I say three to five years, those first those that two year gap is like me not really taking it seriously where I've made like my first 10K and then started slowly increasing. And it was like 100K, 150K, and then 800K when I finally figured this shit out. And now it's going even higher than that. So all in all, just stick it out. There's a way to do it as a writer. You just have to do like take action and be consistent for what would be getting a four year degree. But it's not like you're not getting paid along the way if you offer a product or service along the way by watching my other videos. And last thing. Uh, Solopreneur Sprints starts on the 15th, right? So that's where you build the base of your one person business. Uh, we write content together, we create a brand together, and there's just a bunch of other bonus things that help with what we talked about in this video. So I'd encourage you to check that out, link in the description. Digital economics along with that doubles in price on that date just because people keep telling me to do it. So we're going to try it out. And then lastly, if you want my writing system, check out to our writer, all that stuff's in the description. Aside from that, like comment, subscribe. If you don't want to buy anything, all good. I appreciate you either way. Peace.